Now there's a new disorder out there and that's called metabolic syndrome X. And that's characterized by uh, centralized obesity, which is more if you're an apple-shaped kind of person. And that would be a waist circumference measurement um, for men that's greater than 40 inches and women that's greater than 35 inches. It's also characterized by high blood pressure, high triglycerides, low HDL cholesterol. And when I think of the cholesterol levels in the different types, I think of the HDLs as your happy cholesterol and your LDLs are your lousy. So, and insulin resistance as well. So if you have any of these disorders, three medical disorders here, then you would be characterized for having metabolic syndrome X, which could, could put you at a very high risk for heart disease. So diet considerations for heart health are, we all could eat a little less cholesterol, um, know our fats, the types of fats, and the limitations, eat more fiber, uh, limit sodium intake and maintain a healthy weight. A little bit more about cholesterol. Well, there are two sources. Um, your, your body produces cholesterol as well, mainly from the liver, and the other source is from diet. And our dietary sources are egg yolks, uh, meats, all meats, organ meats, fish, seafood, and whole milk dairy products, your cheeses and whole milk. And both of these can combine in the bloodstream and thereby lead to uh, clogging the arteries. So we should limit our cholesterol to less than 300 milligrams a day. Now here's a cholesterol question for you. Ounce per ounce, which meat do you think contains the most dietary cholesterol? Would it be bacon or turkey breast without the skin? Anybody know? The turkey, the bacon? Actually, the turkey has more cholesterol. They're very similar. I mean, only by a, maybe a tenth of a gram or something like that. So why is turkey so much better for us? It's because it ha the bacon has more saturated fats. And saturated fats trigger cholesterol production in the body. So we should limit or avoid any foods that are high in saturated fats. And that's our fried foods, our fatty red meats, uh, pork fat, lard, the poultry skin. It's fine to cook the chicken or, or turkey with the skin on, just remove it before you eat it. And whole milk dairy products, your cheeses, whole milk, and even palm and coconut oils are high in saturated fat. So we should opt to choose for low saturated fat foods like our lean meats, fish, uh, low-fat dairy products, there's a lot of low-fat cheese, low-sodium cheeses out there now, and nuts and seeds are a good source of fat. You just have to watch portion sizes on those as well. You can't sit there with a can in front of you watching TV and eat the nuts. <laughs> um, and bake and grill or broil your meats whenever possible. And then there's another fat that's lurking out there, and that's trans fats. And trans fats come in two sources as well. They occur naturally in some butters and meats, but our main source comes from partially hydrogenated vegetable oils. And this is something that man is making. And they're taking a good fat and a good oil and they're making it into a solid. And this is easier for frying and easier for baking. So you'll find it in most vegetable shortenings, stick margarine,